Welcome to the Eduonix course, NoSQL database design using MongoDB. In this course, we'll focus on the relatively new NoSQL concept, and we'll be specifically talking about MongoDB, which is one of the leading NoSQL databases. Right now, we're going through what could be called a NoSQL revolution. These databases can scale, and they're slowly replacing traditional relational databases like MySQL and PostgreSQL. Uh, MongoDB was created with big data in mind. Big data is referring to the ever-growing velocity and volume of data that's available. Um, of course, traditional relational databases uh, can be a better choice in certain situations, uh, but if you're dealing with a massive amount of data, then MongoDB or, or another NoSQL database should definitely be considered. And if you're a web developer or a database administrator, you need to learn about NoSQL or you'll fall behind in, in the technology that's available today. Uh, MongoDB is the leading NoSQL document database. Uh, there's four types of NoSQL databases, which we'll get into um, in a bit. MongoDB is very scalable and has a lot of different features that we'll go over in this course. So let's go through a quick summary of the course. Um, there'll be five chapters. In each chapter, there is uh, four to six sections, and each section including at least one video and the program files for, for that section. So in chapter one, we'll take a look at NoSQL in general and what it is. We'll look at some examples of NoSQL databases. Uh, we'll talk about the advantages and we'll look at the scaling features such as horizontal scaling as opposed to vertical scaling with traditional uh, relational databases. Uh, we'll also take a look at big data and what that is, what problems can arise from it, where does it come from, and we'll talk about the volume, velocity, and variety of data. There's four different types of NoSQL databases. There's document, which is what MongoDB is. There's key value stores, column stores, and graph databases. Um, as I said, we'll talk about the advantages, some of which are the cost, auto sharding, replica sets, and schemaless design. In chapter two, we'll focus on MongoDB specifically. We'll talk about what it is, uh, a little history, and we'll talk about the document data model that it uses, uh, as well as the Beeson and JSON um, text formatting, uh, again the advantages of MongoDB. Um, we'll talk about the different terms. We have an important terms that you need to know such as collection, um, sharding, replication, object IDs, uh, and then we'll go through the installation steps to install MongoDB onto a Windows machine as well as uh, Linux Ubuntu. And we'll take a, a, a real quick look at the Mongo shell before we move on to chapter 3. So in chapter three, we'll be interacting with the database. Uh, we'll start out learning, uh, well, having a kind of a refresher course for JSON and formatting documents and arrays. Um, we'll look at nested documents as well. You can actually have a document in another document. And then we'll look at uh, inserting or saving data. Uh, we'll do all this through the Mongo shell and we'll, we'll look at both the insert and the save method. And also uh, we'll look at inserting multiple documents at the same time. And we'll create some users. Okay, so we'll create an admin user and then we can create users for specific databases. Um, we'll also find and display data. We'll use the find method, the find all method, and we'll also um, add filters or a where clause to our, our finds. So in chapter four, uh, we're gonna continue working with documents in the database. And when I say documents, that can be thought of as um, a row in a database, in a traditional database. All right, we'll talk about aggregation. Um, there's a few different types of aggregation. There's pipeline, MapReduce, uh, we'll look at the comparison operators, and we'll look at the pro project, match, limit, and group operators, as well as others. 
Um, I'll show you how to import and export databases using um, certain programs that come with MongoDB. And we'll learn how to update and delete data from our database. Um, we'll learn about some of these operators set, uh, set, increment, and rename. And then we'll look at operators that are used with arrays like pop, push, and pull. And finally, we'll take a look at creating a cloud database using the Mongo Lab service. So we'll set that up and then we'll connect to it rem remotely through the shell and we'll take a look at that. Finally, we're going to build uh, a very small Node.js application. And Node.js is basically JavaScript on the server. Um, it's okay if you don't really know Node.js because we're just going to be doing um, really basic, really basic things with it. Um, we'll install it. We will um, we'll make our application find and display data from our Mongo Lab database. So that'll be from the cloud database that we create. Um, we're going to install and work with some third-party modules like the Express Framework, uh, Jade HTML Engine, the Mongoose module, which we use to connect to MongoDB through our application. Um, and we'll also be saving and deleting data through our node application. All right, so that's basically the rundown of what we're going to be doing. Uh, I hope you enjoy the course, and I look forward to getting started.